Now I will show you how to create a YouTube video using iMovie. So let's get started. So you're going to click on your iMovie icon. Once you get here, you're going to click this big plus sign and you're going to hit uh, click on movie. All right. So once you get here, you have the option to create a movie with a video or text or a combination of both. So you can use both. OK, so I'm going to use text, uh, photo text right now in this video as an example. So I'm just going to go ahead and click a few of them. OK. And when you're doing a video with text, you're you have to make sure you place them in in order to make sure they are telling the story. All right. So we are going to select those. And once you select the photo or a video or a combination of both. All right. So you can use both. You are going to come down here in the blue where it says create movie and click create movie. So now your movie has been created. So now once you get here, you have to edit each individual photo to make sure it's centered. So you click on it and you, you're you going to click. All right. And you're going to adjust it. All right. As you can see, you adjust it for it to be in the center. And also when you adjust it, you need to add more seconds. As you can see at the top, it says five seconds. You want to make that a little bit longer so the viewer have time to read the text in the uh, photo text. OK, so you simply click on it and stretch the yellow out. As you can see, it's adding seconds. All right. Six point five, seven. Usually 10 seconds is good. If you have a photo text that's really long, you can add more, but usually around 10 seconds is good. OK, and then you go back and hit place so you can see how it shows, as you can see. So it's centered, it's playing and it's giving the viewer time to read it. As you can see, the second one is going so fast. We didn't adjust that one. So let's stop it and let's go ahead and hit that uh, scissors in the bottom there. OK. All right, so you're going to adjust it. All right, see how I'm moving this. You just use your finger and place it where you want so it could be in the center. Then you stretch it out and you can add seconds to it. All right, sometimes you have to go back and put it in order. And then you hit done and then you let it play so you can see if it was corrected, if you need to adjust it a little bit more or if you need to add some more seconds on to it. OK. All right. As you can see. So there you go. You have the idea. All right. So if you wanted to add something in the middle of this, OK, you are at the beginning or at the end. And also when you scroll to the end, it will tell you how long your video is. So if you want to add more content to your video to make it longer, you can. If you need to remove, you can remove. So let's go ahead and add. So to add, you just place it wherever you want to add it. If you want to add it right here, you place it. If you want to add it right here, right here. If you want to add it all the way to the end, you scroll down wherever you want to add it. And then you hit the plus sign right here. You see the plus sign and you go to your photos or your video. So let's add a small video clip to it so you guys can see. So I go to my videos and I click all and let's do a short. This one is 19 seconds. And then once you select the video or photo, you have the plus sign to add it. So click the plus sign. And as you can see, it plays the video clip there. Now let's play it so you can see. As you can see, it's moving, it's playing. All right. So now you also have the option to add text to your video. So to add text to your video, simply click in the center, come down at the bottom here. You see it says, uh, you see where it says split, duplicate or delete. You can split it, you can delete it, or you can duplicate it. To duplicate, if like say this is 19 seconds and you want it to play longer, just hit duplicate and it will, as you can see, 
now there's two so it will play longer so you know if you wanted to do something with music uh to create a live stream and you just wanted to play or you wanted to do a video with common music or a video with visual nature pictures or something of that sort and you just want it to keep repeating and repeating all you have to do is click on it and keep duplicating it for however uh, minutes you want it to go okay so to add the text we click on it highlight it in yellow come down under and you see where it says t you click on the t and now you have the option to add text and you have the different font size okay this is standard uh, prism gravity reveal you can do a heading at the top and then the text under expand you can see the different font style fonts uh, style pop up all right okay so you can choose uh, which one you want usually I use standard okay I like standard because it gives you more space to add more text in the center so I just go ahead and delete the generated text it's three usually it's once a small one in the bottom and in the center so I just delete the generated text and I uh, put my text so let's do hello no. all right let's delete that all right and hit done and as you can see now the video has text in it you can add whatever if you want to add a sentence whatever you want to add all right and as you can see it is playing all right and if you wanted to add a photo let's go out of photo you hit all all right let's go back and select photos all and you can add another photo so you just click on highlight it click on the plus sign and as you can see you add the photo in there all right and now with the photos you have to adjust them so you click on it okay and you can I'm sorry, you can adjust it and you see I had to click the little scissor in the bottom to uh, highlight it in white so I can move it around all right see that in the bottom there okay so you just adjust it to make sure it's in the center and usually if you have a lot of text on the um, photo you need to add seconds to it it comes automatically with four seconds as you see at the very top there it says four seconds so you can scroll over and add seconds usually 10 seconds is good all right so that's 10 seconds and now you adjust it and you hit done and you go back and play it to see what it looks like okay so we are going to hit edit to speed this up so the video is not that long so let's place it right there and hit play as you can see now it's centered okay so for each one that's what you want to do you want to click on each photo center it make sure it's in the center all right make sure you add extra seconds to it by stretching it out and also you have the options here position it to end or start um, whichever you choose okay so to push if you want to position it to start you can like scroll it down and say you want it to start right there and you see it is starting there and working its way up if you wanted the video or photo to stay uh, still you don't want it to move at all you just want to place it there and you want it to remain still the last option in the bottom that says can burns enable you click on that and that will um, you have the option to let the vid the um the text stay in the center all right let me place that back up all right okay so you can add let me hit done all right so you have the option to add all right and at the end you see the total time of your video now at the bottom here with this little wheel you click the wheel at the very bottom of the screen here on your right and you can add filters from iMovie and as you can see you have the different filters you can add to your movie you can also add music to your video from iMovie usually I add 
the filter from YouTube uh, directly when I'm uploading it. YouTube have an option to add filter. I like those better. And once you upload, I usually upload on listed so I can make corrections. I add music before I make it public from the YouTube studio, studio because their music is better. But you can use music from iMovie. These are the options. You just play. You click on each individual one and uh, you add it to your... A movie listen to it if you like it you keep it like let's see let's select vintage for the filter and modern for the music now when you uh, add the music to your video you have to come down here you see where you have the icons here in black you have to turn them blue in order for the music to be added okay so and you once you do that you hit done and now let's go over and play it. As you can see, it is it changed the fil the color of the uh, photo and video. It added the vintage filter, and you can hear the music playing. Okay? So once you listen to the music, if you like it, you keep it. If you don't like it, you hit done. You go back to edit, come back down to the little wheel in the bottom here on the right, okay, and remove it if you don't like it or change it up, make a second selection, listen to it. So go back, we're going to hit done. You want to remove the music, you're going to come back down to these icons here and turn them back uh, black and white and then hit done and you hit play. And yes, you can see you're back to the original. Also, let me show you at the bottom here. You have the play button, you have the uh, box with the arrow, and you have the garbage can. So if you don't like your video, you can delete it. You have the option to delete it and start over. If you wanted to, um, uh, you can save your, upload your video directly to Facebook, Instagram, also YouTube. You can upload directly from iMovie to YouTube. I usually um, save it to my phone and then I upload it. Okay, let me go back because I want to show you also when you're adding to add a voice, you can add your voice to your video or photo. You click the plus sign just like if you were adding a photo like we did before with we add the photo in the video. As you can see at the very bottom, you have the options to add audio, which we did the audio already. You can add audio. You can record uh, the camera and take a, a photo with your camera here at the bottom, as you can see. And you have the voice over. You can click voice over and you can record over your picture or over your video. As you can see, it says ready to record. Once you're ready to record, you hit the red record, okay? It gives you a countdown, and then you just start recording. And so you can see it is recording, so you let it record, and then once you're ready to stop it, you click stop. You can now cancel it. And you can see on the recording finish it says cancel retake review or accept so you can cancel it retake it review it or accept it so let's hit review and then you just start recording and so you can see it is recording so you let it record and then once you're ready to stop it you click All right. stop so you can accept that recording if you like it or you can hit the retake and do it again or cancel it completely so we hit cancel all right, so that's how you add a voice over to your uh, photo or video. So as you can see, and then you just go one by one and adjust it, center it, add more seconds to it. Once you're done with everything, then you hit done. And like I said before, you can either save it or uh, upload it directly to whatever destination you want to directly to YouTube if you want to and let's click on YouTube so if you were going to upload it you would have to give it a title you see what it says my movie you can give it a title and a description right there title and description at the top and you can come down here 
I'm not going to sign in. As you can see, it's asking me for signing. I'm not going to sign in because I'm not going to publish this. Okay. So you have the option at the bottom to click private, unlisted or public. So usually you want to upload under unlisted so you can go directly to YouTube once it's finished uploading and make corrections. Review it before you make it public. Okay. So let me cancel that out. So for me, I usually save it to my photos. So you click the box with the arrow in the center and you come here and you hit save. All right. And usually HD 720 is the one I select. And now, as you can see, the video is saving. It will be saved to my photos on my phone. Once it's saved, I can go ahead and go to YouTube, hit the upload button. Uh, button and upload it there as unlisted and then I can add the music from the YouTube studio all right let's close that out because we don't want to um, save that video and that is how you create a YouTube video using your iMovie okay thank you guys for watching I hope this is useful okay bye bye